Hey everybody, got an interesting one for you here today. This one comes from a viewer named Methuselah Hope who asks this question. Hey Glenn, would you ever consider doing a video explaining to people all the reasons a studio, including home studios, have a DI box? I'm on the JST forum on Facebook and holy fuck, trying to explain to people that a less than $300 investment is a good idea is getting fucking old. Fucking penny pinchers. That, my friend, is a fantastic idea. Let's have a look, shall we? Okay, since you're referencing the JST forum, I'm going to make the assumption that most of the people in there are recording at home using a VST amp sim of one kind or another. And that's totally fine. I imagine that's how most people are recording these days, on a laptop or home computer with a one or two channel interface and playing their hearts out. So why drop money on a direct box? Why not just use the direct input on an interface? Okay, now I'll be the first to admit I've just taken it for granted that a dedicated direct box has always been the best solution. But after having my eyes opened regarding mic preamps and metal guitar, the more expensive options might not be the best options. Check out my greatest metal guitar recording trick video where I cook up a heavy as fuck tone using a lowly Behringer two channel mixer that I paid $50 for. Serves me right for spending too much time reading posts on gear slots and not enough time listening with my ears. Now, bear in mind, if you're recording more than just a software amp sim and you're gonna record real amps and mic those up, a dedicated direct box is an absolute must. Mainly because it allows you to split the guitar's signal. One goes to the amp, the other goes to the direct output. And this gives you options later on. Remember, the direct output goes into a microphone preamp, so the signal takes on the character of that preamp. But having that direct signal is a wonderful insurance policy, especially if you're running a studio for paying clients. If you don't get the tone right during tracking, having a high quality direct track will definitely save your ass because you can run that signal through an amp sim or run it back through another amp configuration via a reamp box. My number one pick for a direct box is the Countryman Type 85, which costs a grand total of $179. Another great choice is the Radial J48, which is $199. Both of these are built with extremely solid construction and will probably last you for life. It will definitely outlast your interface. I've had this J48 for about 14 years and I've gone through several interfaces in that time, but this J48 still works flawlessly. The Countryman also has a little talked about bonus feature. There's a selector switch for pickup and speaker. This allows you to run your amp's speaker output directly into your recorder, as well as send it to your cabinet. Why is this useful? Well, if you want to record a real amp, but use an impulse response instead of miking up a cabinet, you can use this method without having a dedicated load box. Bear in mind, you'll still have to have a cabinet hooked up so your amp sees the proper load and it won't be a silent recording setup, but it will get the job done. It's a nice feature that I've used on numerous occasions. When it comes to recording a guitar signal directly off the pickups, one would assume that the difference between an interface and a direct box would be slight, at least with modern interfaces. I know there's a serious issue with the first generation Focusrite Scarlet series where the DI was simply too hot of a signal and would clip no matter how far the gain was turned down. On a second generation system like the one I have, it's no longer an issue. There's plenty of headroom. There's also some debate as to whether an active direct box is better for different types of pickups versus a passive one. Honestly, I've never really been able to tell. Most modern active direct boxes like the Countryman and Radio can handle anything you can throw at it. The original passive direct boxes used to mess with the guitar's signal, especially on low output passive pickups, and the players could definitely tell something was wrong. These days, not so much. So I'm gonna run a simple test here. Play the same clip on several sources, two dedicated direct boxes, plus a pair of direct inputs on two different audio interfaces. You tell me which sounds best. We're gonna run these all into the same amp sim with the same settings.
So, could you hear a difference? What did you like best? Leave a comment below or answer the poll question and I'll follow up in a few days and let you know which clip was which piece of gear. In the meantime, if you found this video to be helpful, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll be back tomorrow morning with SMG viewers comments, answering your best feedback of the week. See you then. Hey guys, if you liked the video, be sure to subscribe as I post every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. If you want to learn more about recording, check out one of my tutorials or one of my gear reviews if you want the actual honest truth about a piece of equipment. Till next time, stay metal, my friends.